I'm very happy to be a part of this team. Uh, in the body power, uh, you know, your main uh, CEO, Mr. Oli, I think he'll be the best person to do this. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, English or Hindi? English. Uh, English. Yeah. So, so uh, my name's Oli Upton. I'm the MD for Body Power. Um, I brought across with me uh, Chris Book, who works for Body Power. He's our operations manager. I've got uh, Jason next to me, who's a calisthenic king. Jason Robinson. Very, very good athlete. And then one of the best UK bodybuilders currently at the minute, he's up and coming, um, getting a lot of attention worldwide. Uh, he only agreed to come to India on Thursday. His name's Matty Orwell. His first time in India. And then finally I've got Harry Ranson with me, who is a, a, a coach, a nutritionist, and has spent 18 months uh, living in India, training uh, Ranveer Singh, Arjun Kapoor, Mahesh Babu, um, and knows a lot about Indian diet and Indian training. So, Harry Ranson. And very, very quickly, I wanted to say thank you very much to the people of Chennai and to the owners of Flux Gym, because when we go and visit gyms, when we go and visit gyms in the UK or internationally, we, we get welcomes, but we, we never have a welcome like that. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> that was a very, very impressive Indian welcome, and you made us feel very welcome and very special. So, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I would first like to thank my friend, Mr. Bharatraj, for giving me this opportunity to bring body power into our gym. Thank the entire body party for being here and I thank uh, special thanks to my father, my uncle Ramesh, Mr. Rajesh and my team Flux, Mr. Mohan, Mr. Dinesh, Mr. Syed and Mr. Vetri. Thanks a lot. And it's been a pleasure to have you all here and any questions regarding nutrition or uh, bodybuilding you can raise to them and they'll be happy to answer you. Yeah, thank you. So the question was how do you look like this, right? Yes. So you may have heard of the kind of saying no one will come to like the overnight success, okay? You put the 10 years of hard work in and then you become an overnight success. It's, it's the same thing with fitness, okay? It's everyone wants results really, really fast, but everyone sitting here has mastered their craft and they put in five, seven, eight, ten years of work and then they become successful, right? It takes time, okay? So a lot of the stuff that you guys are doing, you're doing it right just not for long enough. You may have been one year, two years, three years. It takes longer to get into this position. So just be patient with it, okay? That's what I would say, that's what I would recommend, just be patient. Do not put too much pressure on yourself to do too much. Just enjoy the process of becoming fitter, becoming better, and the mental challenges that come with it. It's really important that you don't try to do too much too soon. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make because they do too much too soon. They don't get the results that they expect and it's not in line with the amount of work they put in and they become disheartened. This is why I say just build it into your life and let it become a natural part of what you do on a daily, weekly basis. But do not put too much pressure on yourself to do too much too soon in a better fashion, maybe underwater training where they get a lot of resistance and then they grow a muscle endurance. But in hypertrophy, we train for muscle bulkness, the volume has to increase. So the muscle maturity increases only during the workouts years together, put together the nutrition as well as the rest. So this is the kind, main difference is this, athlete trains for endurance, bodybuilders train for hypertrophy. When you, get, when you look at he is like uh, uh, Matty is kind of on a huge side. He's a bodybuilder, and if you look at me and the other guys, we are more into fitness. I'm actually a physique athlete. Physique, uh, uh, I'm a physique athlete. Yeah. So there, that's something called fitness modeling too. The whole body conditioning and the uh, appearance of the athlete looks entirely different from each other. The fitness model is the one who actually looks leaner. He. Uh, the whole frame should be a bit leaner and the type of training which they do is kind of different. They, as uh, Ponsa said, it's more of endurance and re repetition based type of training. So the weight, you they don't concentrate more on the weights, they concentrate more on, uh, how do I say, aesthetic training that is more of uh, rep based type of training and uh, strength training and whereas 
a bodybuilder, they concentrate more on the size, the muscle size, muscle volume increase. The diet totally differs to both. You can't work for a bodybuilder's, uh, I mean, work on a bodybuilder's diet and coordinate both. You have to work on the fitness model's uh, diet and a fitness model way of routine if you want to look like, look like a fitness model. And it varies to a bodybuilder. The diet is different, the workout is also different. So you guys need to identify the difference of what you actually want and work on it.